What if the story was a complete lie? Today's conversation is gonna rattle some people, but that's not the point of this. The point of this conversation is to get you to start to ask questions. Now I wanna start out by saying I believe in God with all of my heart and I follow the life of the Jesus as close as humanly possible. But I just wanna get you to start thinking a little bit deeper around why do you believe what you believe, okay? Why do you believe what you believe, truly? Ask yourself that question. Pause this video and ask yourself the question. You believe in something, but why do you truly believe in it? That's what I started practically doing to my life. I was born into a certain religion, and what I started to do is ask myself, what does that truly mean? And so through the process from suicide, December 18th, 2006, the last 17 years, I've been on this insatiable appetite journey to try to figure out who I truly, truly am. Through that process, I found a book called The Secret in 2000, I think it was six going into 2007, which taught me thoughts became things, which was the gateway to the life that I'm living now. Through that process, I discovered Buddhism and they weren't giving me the answer that I want. And later in life, I realized they weren't there to give me the answer, which is key. Then I went through a process of going to a non-denominational Christian church, great human beings, great people. But the thing that I noticed is that people were Christians when they were in church, but they weren't acting that way outside of church. So it left me extremely, extremely confused. What was it? Was I Catholic? Was I Buddhist? Was I non-denominational Christian? Or I'm just a human being having a physical experience here that has a soul that needs to figure this out. So I stopped believing in man and I started believing in God. Let me say that one more time. I stopped believing in man and I started believing in God. And so what I decided to do is I started to go into my closet and pray and sit quietly with God and listen and connect and act based on the faith that was being provided to me through the source called God. So I want to ask you a couple questions. Why do you believe in Jesus Christ? The story of Jesus Christ is one of the most remarkable stories of hope that was ever created. But there's some hints in the Jesus Christ story that could help us understand who we truly are as a human being. So Jesus was crucified at 33 years old. Your spine has 33 vertebrae. If you study or you do research on the mountain that he was crucified on, it was a skull of the cross. You have 33 vertebrae that go up into your skull. Jesus died for three days. There's a scientific process that happens in your body, an oil that goes up and down your spine that gives you light, that gives you life, that dies every three days, after 28 days, it dies for three days and it goes up and down the spine. Christmas, Santa Claus gives you presents. He goes up and down the chimney. So it's something to think about for just a moment. Jesus was born to Mary and was born to Joseph. Divine masculine, divine feminine. There was somebody looking for him because the risen king, the risen king was coming, was tapping in, tuning in, was about to show people how powerful they truly, truly are. So they wanted to kill him. So he went down the Jordan River. So I just want you to start to think about these things and I want you to ask yourself the question, why do you believe what you believe? The reason why I believe what I believe because I practically applied these principles of Jesus Christ, loving God with all my heart, loving humanity as I love God, and hold the log on my eye before I pull the straw to yours, and my life is radically transformed from broken little boy who was seeking a savior to a young man to a man who knows he's saved, to a man who is no longer waiting for a savior or waiting for a president to come back to save me, who is raising my family, who is a man of God, who is financially free, spiritually free, and most of all, the richest man in the world because of my relationship with God. So all I'm doing here is starting the conversation. I don't know if this will work for you, but it worked for me. And this is not against any religion, any group of people. What I am against, though, is another human being playing God in my life.